All right, again, uh, the next few stories are collections from uh, National Geographic for Kids uh, science series. And as a former science teacher, I would love to get you more interested in some of the scientific things around us. This title is called Swim Fish, talking about explorations within the coral reef. And we don't have a coral reef here in Flat Rock, it's in Australia. And while I have fish here at my house, I don't have a salt water tank. So there's fish that live in salt water and fish that live in fresh water. So here in Flat Rock, we might have perch or bass, but the colorful fish like in Finding Nemo are going to be in the coral reef like by Australia. Let's swim, follow the fish to a coral reef. This story was written by Susan Newman, and she's got a few other stories I'm gonna share with you too. The water here is warm. Corals grow and they make big reefs. Schools of fish run back and forth. These fish are called sergeant majors. Seahorses move up and down and sideways. Turtles flap their flippers like birds flap their wings. Eels glide from place to place. They tend to be on the bottom. This is a giant moray eel. Nearby, whale sharks eat tiny fish. Here's our gigantic whale shark. And then these little fish that they would eat in between. Some animals here swim very very slowly. These are called cushion sea stars. You might think of them as a starfish too. Some swim very, very fast. Swim fish. This is a school of minnows. These animals live under the water and the ocean is their home. We don't have an ocean in Flat Rock or in Michigan. The closest ocean is on the, on the edge. So you might see the ocean if you went to California or Florida or Maine on the edges of our country. But in Flat Rock, we have the Huron River and close to us in Gibraltar, we have a lake that's really large called Lake Erie. But the ocean, um, this ocean would be really warm for the coral reef. Um, and Australia, but not all oceans are warm. And so here's a map and it talks about where some of those animals might be. So um, if you see this book in the classroom, you can kind of check it out and explore a little closer. And um, if you're interested at the library, the librarians would be happy to show you more um, books about clownfish and some of the other animals. Till next time.